Mark P. Otten back with you. Okay, this is an exciting moment uh, because I get to show you how to download the computer program R and this is going to be a uh, uh, super fun, exciting tool for you to use uh, for the rest of your life. Well, I might be overstating it, but it's going to be useful for your homework, at least in this class. <laughs> so I have just uh, started by downloading or, or uh, Googling Download R Studio. And I said R Studio instead of R because R Studio is sort of the professional version of R that you're going to need for this class or the, the way that it's going to make the, uh, the, the program usable for you. So for me, uh, when I Googled it, um, it popped up R Studio desktop here uh, through the posit.co website. And so I clicked on that. And I'm on a Mac here, so um, as I go through the, the, the uh, steps uh, to download it here, it's going to be on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it's probably similar, but certainly the installation process will look a tiny bit different. So, okay, so R Studio Desktop is the second thing that you're going to download. The first thing you're going to download is uh, R itself. So, you click on the download R button there. And then you're going to have some options. I'm going to click on the one for Mac OS. If you have Windows, it's going to be the one right below. Um, if you have an iPad or a phone or a, a Chromebook or a tablet, just let me know. There's probably a way to do it uh, to get R, but uh, it might require you to come to the CSUN library or rent a laptop or something just for a couple weeks to get your R work done. Or if you're working on it for longer, um, let me know. We can troubleshoot. Okay, so I clicked on the link for Mac there. And then uh, I would like, okay, so I already have R downloaded, so I'm not actually gonna do it. <laughs> not actually gonna download it. But what you would do is you would click on the, uh, the link here. Um, and as long as you have Mac OS X or OS 11 or higher, you should be okay. Uh, that's for your um, desktop system. Uh, if you are running a PC again, it'll be a little bit different, but you're going to click on the, the .pkg file. That's an installation file for Mac uh, and then run through the steps. It'll just say, would you like to install this? And you say yes, and you might have to type in your password. It's free. Don't worry. And then you'll have R. And then once you have R, you're going to back up to the website again and go to the second link over here to download R Studio. And that, again, is going to allow you to, to run R. So when I clicked on that, it uh, started automatically just downloading a file for me. And then once that happens, once you get that file, you're gonna double click it. And again, just click through the installation process. It should be like, agree, yes, thank you, password, done, something like that. Um, and then for a, a PC, it'll be, again, a little bit different, but similar. Um, let me know if you have uh, technical issues installing R. It should be free and easy, I hope. And then once you get it installed, then you We'll go to my other videos on how to get started doing statistics. Very exciting indeed. Good luck. Keep me posted.